Send me your submissions, I'll rate your gameplay. If you take a bison, you get F's all day. I really want to rate gameplay with you. Please like and subscribe for your boy. Subscribe for your boy. Yeah! Episode 65 of Rate My Gameplay is here and we have Jonathan today. Very exciting, Jonathan. I know you've waited a little bit. I hope this is worth it for you. Let's see what Jonathan had to say. Hi, Rev. Big fan. Thank you, Jonathan. I would like this rated by you. Not exactly the squad I'm grinding for, but it's pretty close. And I think cool, considering what I managed in this environment of buffaloes, summons, and lionfish. And then the link is below, which I've downloaded. So... That makes me think weekly pack, because to mention buffaloes as part of the meta is unusual. So I'm assuming there was a weekly with buffalo and lionfish. I don't know. Let's see. Let's jump the hell in. Tactics, creativity, dominance. It's a custom pack. A custom pack named movement. Okay, that's... Okay, you can pause if you want. Custom pack named movement. Are we going to see donkey right now? Oh, he's going... Okay, he's going replays. I've seen this story before. I'm blocking. I'm looking at the top right of the screen. Um, okay, I've done this long enough to know that if someone is going towards replays, it's going to spoil the team. <laughs> God bless my experience. I'm going to block it out so you can't see it either. Um, and look, the quality isn't the greatest, but I've said it before. I'll say it again. If you're complaining about quality, suck an egg, man. You're a spoiled brat. We can still see what's happening. Dolphin mascot? Is that is that I'm assuming it's the dolphin. I'm not uh I haven't bought a single mascot and I don't plan to. Not the the cut it's not the mascots are not the the um the, I don't like the cut of their jib. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so iguanas. So I'm trying to deduct from the, the movement theme that you're probably keeping iguana you did also buff it if i'm not mistaken it's a dolphin draw and we're all happy about it so i think like my personal favorite runs are when people commit to a concept in customs because you know that you're going to see the concept like fleshed out as best as it possibly can be in customs you take a two gold apple i personally would be looking for levels at this point but uh you know each to their own And you just take a three squad. Look, I don't mind like powering up big time on just a few units. You really would have liked to see the bat hit the jellyfish. And look, your three squad on turn three, that's probably what's going to happen. No one's surprised. It's dolphin defeat. And we head on to turn four. By the way, if I'm a little bit like out of it in today's recording, the reason is... I came in this morning to the office to record and there's a spider web running from the air conditioner down towards the curtains. And look, in Australia, this is the, the risk you run, right? The chance that spiders could be lurking at any point. The, the, the thing that really startles me about it is that I've had a few redbacks knocking about my place recently. Redbacks are like the scariest spider you can come across. They're small, they've got a big black butt and they've got red on it. And those things will like genuinely potentially kill you. So, like, there is probably a spider in the room. And I've, like, scoped, I've scoped out my area. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. But if you see me, like, glancing around, it's probably just me, like, just, just making sure that I'm not about to die. But look, if I die doing this, I die doing what I loved most. Anyway. So you have a base stat seahorse, which fits the movement pattern. You have a bat that is growing. Now you want pineapple for your iguana. Are you taking puppy here? I would assume you're taking puppy, and you do. Give this man some lasagna. I mean, look, seahorse, considering it's tier one, you'd want to see it more buff, but it's not your fault. Bat hit the Hercules beetle. You did it. And we're seeing an effect 
the power of this. Am I wrong or in the test server did they change Iguana to tier 2? Very unusual. I wouldn't say... I know it's always been like a good early unit, but to move it, it didn't seem like a unit that demanded a change. That said, by the time this uploads, the changes might have gone live. So maybe you're existing in a world where Iguana is no longer tier 1. Any spiders around? Um, Alright, Jonathan... You're a man that's not afraid to four or two squad at points, and I respect it. Great win. Iguana's going crazy. You're up to five. The Rude Masks are going well, Jonathan. I like what we're seeing. Victory Dolphin is in the mix. Hello, Mr. Victory Dolphin. More Iguana buffs. It's always weird having buffing Iguana at the back because, like, your middle units end up being garbage. But welcome to Eggplant City, Population Jonathan. A famous rival band of our city. So the Hawks, you'd think they go crazy here, but really they don't. Kangaroo to the front, that's funny. Hawks dead. Big win. Okay, that was an, that was an interesting matchup. You get to six. Living in a world of buffaloes, summons, and lionfish. Tiger goes kind of crazy. Tiger doesn't go kind of crazy. And you're keeping Stingray. Very interesting. You actually want a Stingray level up. Did you take the sock? No, you took the flashlight. Okay, so you pull Ox to the front. Front front position eggplant is always funny. Now the mole has nothing to work from. You've messed up a mole team. You got to feel good about that. You go to seven. Things move fast. Life's coming at us fast. How does Jonathan round out the build? Let's see. It's nice to see a penguin carry, and I love that move. I love that move. Most people wouldn't, like, consider chocolating Stingray there, but you want the level 2. Your bat's going to get a buff. It's eel time. It's stalk time. It's meta time on the other team. It's as meta as you can get. The bat didn't do its job, and that's not your fault. And, oh, the math. That's not on you, man. Dad, Jonathan, I'm not holding that against you. The thing, like, if, if I was a spider in this room, there's a lot of nooks and crevices to exist in. Hopefully not on, hopefully not on me. The thing is, it's only a single web and it's not even attached well. So I think the spider moved on. Okay, here we go. Summon team. Level three stalk. It's as scummy as it can get. Oh my God. Level three eagle from the stalk. That's disgusting. Spits out German Shepherd, takes a buff, flies dead. Oh god, what's it gonna spit out? Slug? Oh, it doesn't do enough damage. Oh, it does! Oh, that is a win right there. That is a win that gets me up and about. You're now on eight. I like what I'm watching, man. So, is the. Uh... Wait, let me move my face briefly. No, there is a flashlight there, so you're about to get 12 12 on your bat. The penguin's doing good work. So you'd probably want an eggplant on your stingray. And Jonathan, can I be honest with you? This really would have got pushed over the edge. With another... Oh, the math. With another iguana or a donkey. But that's my bias. I'm not going to put that on you. Like... Donkey in the pack would have gone crazy right here. Level two. Cat. Okay, so here comes the scaling. Front position eggplant exists once again. We're all happy about it. Let's see how this shakes out. You pull Nial. Uh, this is probably a bad matchup for you, but weakness. Nice. Oh, the math. Oh, everyone's talking about the math. Are they? You win by one. Oh, oh, everybody's talking about your math. Cow. What do you buff here? It feels weird. Yeah, I guess. You spread the love. You set up for next turn. 
So the stats aren't low, but the abilities are high. The morale is high. The team is invested in the playstyle. Jurgen Klopp. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you love to see that. You absolutely love to see that. That is a beautiful final round. Man, I want to go on a little spiel here. Jonathan, that was incredible. Here we come. Where's my face? There's my face. Now. I, like... It's tricky in arena because you never know what you're getting. But I think messing up move, messing up order is like the sleeping giant in this game. And when I like meme and say the donkey is the ticket to the promised land, I'm obviously throwing a little bit of mayo on it. But I think messing up movement is so strong. You saw it in that last round. We saw a juicy run. And Jonathan, now it's time to rate. Tactics. I think like... I don't know. Where would people sit on this? My personal opinion is that you would have been better off looking for levels instead of like buying a lot of food on your iguana early. And look, I'm the one doing the ranking. So I'll go tactics. B plus. Creativity. This build got done a lot at different points of sap, but you don't see it much. And to commit to it in arena, I have to reward you A minus. Dominance. Close battles. 10 piece. Let's go B plus. And then you'll say, okay, that adds up to a B plus. Nope, A minus. I want to put this run in A territory. You can't stop me. You're not my dad or God. I like that. <laughs> All right, Jonathan, thank you for submitting. Episode 65 is in the books. Stay tuned. Episode 66 is just around the corner. I thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Peace.